What is up guys, this is your boy King Cyberwolf. Today we're gonna be showing you this reaction video I did on live stream. And um this reaction video is to the vegan teacher who is just attacking, you know, random people as usual, attacking many different YouTubers, TikTokers, you name it. Uh in this video she tries to fight and discriminate against and Nikocado Avocado. And um, I'm just dying to see Nikocado Avocado's reaction. That was the best reaction uh, I was so dying to look at. I wish to deeply apologize. It's been a long time since I uploaded. Uh, just it, There's just been a whole lot of very important things that has been going on around me, my family, my whole lifestyle. No worries. Be sure to visit my TikTok for daily vlogging. Um, don't be afraid to ask questions. Put many, you can give me as many questions as you like. Put it in the comments down below on this video, or hit me up on TikTok, and uh, I will respond to any of your comments. But yeah, let's get into this video, guys. Good, look, when a man's down, he needs toilet paper. He needs toilet paper. Gosh damn it. I am poor Hey, you, you, I'm the great Cojonio. You don't, you don't disrespect great Cojonio. Don't smack me in the back. Don't, don't disrespect the great Cojonio. Come on, Bahul. Stop it. I am. the No, I'm the Cojonio. You are the monkey. You are the one monkey. You don't know the monkey keys. Stop it. I'll beat. I'll beat you to. to Monkeys. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome to class, everybody, and especially to you, Nikocado Avocado. Nikocado. She still is thinks somebody she's that I've heard this name going around. Class and people going. know who he was, and people are always asking me to review his channel. They're saying, "How dare you talk about Nikocado Avocado? Keep his name out of your vegan mouth." <laughs> What's up, boys and girls? Now in today's video, I know we're finally back here again talking about the godforsaken vegan teacher, but I'm furious. As we all know, Nikocado Avocado is an absolute treasure on YouTube. Yes, he has his flaws, but boys and girls, he's the comedy genius as the backbone of the whole of YouTube. And well, vegan teacher has finally gone after him and I couldn't sit around and watch for any longer. Honestly, kind of surprised me that it's taken vegan teacher this long to talk about somebody that literally <laughs> consumes a small baby cow every 12 hours. But here we are, we're finally here. Now, quick reality check. Uh, maybe we can actually agree on some stuff because although Nikocado is a national treasure, as with all YouTubers, we're kind of worried about him. I, I think Nikocado needs to calm down a little bit. Maybe even some avocados for a few months. Wouldn't it be so bad for someone like Nikocado Avocado? Vegan teacher? Who cares? Who cares anymore? I feel like the only person that really cares about vegan teacher anymore is vegan teacher. I saw she <laughs> uploaded a video talking about Bro how facts. she is. You're vegetable. The world has gone crazy. You're going crazy. Fan that took the end, the beginning of my song and the end of that is called suicide boys. Like what are you doing? Wow, that's crazy. Vegan teacher. Haha. <laughs> Look at you bro, being so relatable. <laughs> She's reminding people to eat their vegetables. Good job, Aizen. Yeah, uh, good job, Aizen. <laughs> Thanks. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> what she said about Nikocado. Wait, wait, we are still talking about Nikocado, aren't we? I didn't realize vegan teacher is doing a video about herself calling. Oh wait, no. Okay. My bad. Yeah, no. She's talking about spoon for avocado. She had me for a second there, boys. I mean, I took a screenshot here. I just like stopped this video right when he's eating some broccoli because that's the image I want you guys to. She think wants. About. She needs a spoon for this. It's important to eat <laughs> vegetables. To Every buffalo chicken. If you're thinking about buying a new Nintendo, I'm thinking about mutant here because you're stupidly showing an ad I don't want to be involved with. Stop it. I mute you. You deserve to be muted. Stab it. I skippeth your face. Now go get your dear, dear chicken spoon. Uh, yes. Go and get chicken spoon. Ah! 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 Abuse! Ah! Ah! Get your spoon! I want to see. Does he have like the link in the description of the actual video? Because I think I want to just do that. He probably didn't because he didn't want to really credit her. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, it's all of his stuff. Okay. Um, <laughs> the sneeze is real. My gosh. Ow, my beard. 
We gotta open up a bag of Doritos for this, boys. Are you good? You just bunny hopped your- you just hop skipped and bunny hopped your way in here. Jeez. So, uh... The boy hasn't even cried or snit or, or moaned or dying in a minute when you still rocking him, boy. Let's go! Uh, three, two, one, and later, rip! Put them in your smoothies. You know, sprout little beans and seeds and, and make sure that you eat healthy. The rest of this stuff is all processed, full of grease, full, full of salt, and it's just not something you should be eating on a regular basis. Uh, no, I well. about that vegan teacher. This looks okay, like I can agree with that. The male body. You ever wonder what Olympians eat? This is what Olympians eat. This is a breakfast of the champions. What we got here? Some fried noodles, a battered horse car. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Looks like a giant fucking spring roll. This is a breakfast of champions. Avocado, avocado. I think you already know. You're not a stupid man. You know what you're doing is evil. Not only. What you say? Yo, this is why I. Uh, this is why me and me and my boys are planning on making a uh, just just having a big old banquet for TikTok and just like make sure we're tagging Vegan Teacher in it. She actually returned to TikTok. TikTok. She returned to TikTok. And you are making so many other people unhealthy, and you are causing so much harm. I can't even begin. <laughs> to explain how much harm you're causing. <laughs> At the same time, don't get me wrong, I kind of agree with some of the stuff she's saying here. Nick Ricardo, you need to chill out. But if you close your eyes and you listen to these videos, you would think that she's talking about Hitler. Don't get me wrong, Nick Ricardo Avocado is not a perfect little angel, big angel, but he also isn't Hitler. <laughs> and there's not really much going on. I mean, everyone's just sitting around waiting for you to self-destruct. Like. How is this good for you or anyone else? Self-destruct? You know, what? Give people something to look at that will be compelling and interesting. Change everything around. Starting now. Become vegan. All that you have done to become this huge person who is just a giant joke, you can start to slowly, incrementally change things. It starts by making the declaration that you want to be I want to know how far, like, how close is he from where I'm at? Because if he lives anywhere near me, I want to invite this dude to a Viking banquet of uh, uh, just just meat on on a table and a, a nice fresh cooked a, a meat, and we're just going and just. Yeah. Just sit there and just uh, eating in front of the vegan teacher. Make sure we were tagging her in it. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> just like we're just wearing Viking outfits and stuff. I'm about to do that. She's gonna hate me for the, if I do that. And at the ton of the money, and then you realize that's not really the only thing that's important. Now I want you to try to picture this. In one year's time, you could get your weight down. You could be healthy. And you could be an amazing vegan animal defender. Oh, he's from New York? Damn. I mean, that's not too, too far. Uh, they have a lot of the first thing you need to do is watch show. this. The Minion Movie! Honestly, I actually skipped through the last like bit of this video, boys. I know we're only 2 minutes and 53 seconds in. But the rest of the video, she's literally just promoting the Minion Movie. And as, as you know, I'm probably all for that, but it doesn't really make for that very good content. Now, obviously, I agree with a lot of the things she's saying here. Yes, Dan Carlo, please stop eating all the food. But at the same time, bro, you do not have to become vegan. Because then you'll just be skinny and depressed. Yo, yeah, um, fucking hell. The Hikado Avocado's views are, are, are definitely not down. Takis that have like multiple different colors, apparently. I think a lot of people just view the content at this point because it's ridiculous. Where else are you going to find sitting down consuming over 20,000 calories in one meal? <laughs> I think it's pretty disgusting and I'm not going to lie, right. a lot of these videos should be taken down off YouTube. It kind of counts as like self-harm in my opinion. And obviously the Hikado Avocado's only doing this, 100% playing the character, but only doing this for money. So every one of those videos, if they're getting 2 million views and they're over 40 minutes Long. Nick Akar is probably making anywhere from six to ten thousand dollars right now on every one of those videos. So of course, sitting there for about forty minutes 
Well, eating something for 10 grand sounds pretty fucking good to me and you, but also I think your health is more important than money. True. You can't spend that money if you're dead. They're nice. But having vegan teachers trying to like push yeah. you down, telling you that you need to become vegan, that is the only way. This is complete I nonsense. How about we just do one step at a time? Although I do kind of agree. Go ahead, say what you want. Say what you want. What? What do you want to say? Okay, so, so, um, I don't know if anyone knows this, but, um, I know, I know that Nicocado Avocado eats a lot of junk and eats a lot of crap, like processed shit and whatnot. But if, if you actually think about it, Chinese food is actually full of like, like protein type crap. Some of it's protein. A lot of it's just uh, a majority of it. it I, I will agree. <clears throat> One thing that vegan teacher said, yeah, it's not really healthy food because you're consuming a lot, uh, a lot of grease and fat. Right. And it's not really helping Nicocado Avocado by any means. As a matter of fact, I feel like I'm watching a rewind of, of uh, slowly dying and just eating. Now I'm saying that he's he's dying, but I'm just like, I, I, I don't know. I see I there was a guy that, that made a video about just him smoking in many different ways. It's just him smoking and smoking and smoking. And it was... Creepily, just nothing more than a slow death that people were watching. Oh, yeah. Because the guy eventually uh, died from smoking. Okay, for it, yeah. What is up, Dre Nation? Thank you for uh, stopping by. Is uh, nice for you to come in, bro. Boredom, but maybe like a weight loss journey for Nicky Carter would be brilliant. I would watch that. Not only would that be interesting, you'd probably motivate a lot of other people as well to do the exact same thing. Doing something that's good, but in the day, I know for Nicky Carter, what's easier to sit there for 40 minutes, ignore all the facts until it's too late, or making 10 grand for a video. And that's not talking about merchandise or sponsors. That's just purely from absence, and that's probably way easier than yes, sitting down making a meal plan and having to follow a strict diet to lose that weight. Although, I think at the weight Nicocado's at, you wouldn't really have to do that much to lose it, to be honest with you. You could probably still eat McDonald's every day and still lose that weight. It's honestly just a little bit scary. I think the only time that Nicocado's ever gonna realize that money's not more important than your health is when it's too late. We literally made a video on him a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah. My guy was in hospital. Two days later, month Really? Ago. I don't know. There's only so much we can really say and do on the internet. No one could force him to do this, especially the vegan teacher. But anyway, what has our boy Nicocado Avocado been up to recently? <laughs> That's so messed up! That's so messed up! Seven is seizure? Nice. I think Carter would really be the type of guy that would order everybody's meal at a restaurant and then turn around and say, and what are you getting? As a, as a proper comedy joke. So yes, in all honesty, I think Nick Carter Avocado's weight is something very serious. I think it he is. should definitely do a well-balanced diet. But getting him to watch the Minion movie and then to be vegan, like, bro, that's never going to happen. We need to be realistic here. Also, no. before I end today's video, I want to touch on this video as I've had a shit ton of you people send me this. For obvious reasons, if you have seen the video, I'm not going to play it on this channel. Here's a screenshot of it. If you want to go find it on the Vegan Teachers YouTube channel, you're more than welcome to. But she made this video about a girl called Call Me Chris, where something really bad happened to her. You can probably guess. Again, not going to say that. I will get demonetized. But something just absolutely disgusting. Vegan Teacher then took that and tried to compare it to what happens to animals before we eat them. I oh like my gosh, what? What is this? To then make a video on somebody calling them out? It's honestly just disgusting. I mean, you know it's bad as well, because Vegan Teacher, to say with the like and dislike ratings on her video. And we all know that's a bad sign. Considering her dislike to like ratio has always gone awful anyway. I feel like a lot of YouTubers put vegan teachers gone too far way too many times in the title, me included. But honestly, on this one occasion, I really do feel like this was overstepping the line. But I really want to address it because I know a lot of you guys have been sending it to me. And I think this is disgusting. I think a lot of you think it's disgusting. By all means, go check out the video for yourself. And then come back to this video. And you know what? I want to do exactly that. I mean, may I actually feel like I should have done that uh, from the from jump. But um, there is a there is a video I stumbled upon. My response to vegan t-shirt. extremely cruel and sick in the head. It's important to eat your cruciferous vegetables every day. <laughs> Cruciferous vegetables, which are high in oxalates and anti-nutrients, and you're telling people to put them in smoothies. Who are you, lady?
don't even do a morsel of research on the people that you're supposedly making videos about. I was probably vegan longer than you've been vegan. Well, actually, no, you've probably been doing it a long time. Look at you with your black teeth rotten out of your face. Class is in session, vegans. Let's say our ABCs together. C is for chicken. C is for collagen, which you're- Oh born my gosh, yo. For skin, hair, and brain health. C is for chicken, lady. Mm. Yeah, I agree, man. I wanna, okay, let me see raw video. I gotta get raw video of it. I, I'm just like now noticing that you're gonna, uh, that you called her a she- Yo, bro, are you kidding me? He has my boy on YouTube. What? What? I'm uh, I I I'm gonna be so mad if she say something racist. Dude! Oh my gosh, she's using my, my friend for content. Get a life! Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, where or well, where's Nikocado avocado? Um, I don't oh. believe it. But anyway, let's watch it together. No, I'm eat meat pretty quick. Anyway, that kind of stuff. So. Approximately two weeks ago, while sitting in his $2.3 million penthouse apartment, Nikocado Avocado what? uploaded a video weighing himself to his channel with over 2.5 million subscribers. What? Not. His weight of 352 pounds is in stark contrast with beginning weight of between 150 and 160 pounds. When I started mukbangs, I was 150 pounds, maybe 160. Can't really remember. When he was a modest vegan living a fairly simple life in. He was a vegan, apparently. Yeah. I think he really was. How can somebody go from being vegan to being not vegan? How do you go from caring about animals and not wanting them to have their throats? cut and and being stabbed in the neck and being thrown into gas chamber. well i mean at that point I, mean, I guess she doesn't believe in change second of all dude you're like overreacting <laughs> right well see i see i don't understand why uh, wait wait wait, 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 wait. Give, me, give me give me that give me that give me that give me oh that. yeah i totally forgot about we got meat yeah we got meat we got meat we got some we got a bag of tuna Okay, so so no, I'm just gonna. I do. If you're vegan, a true I could. vegan, you are vegan forever, and you always try to do the least harm. Colombia. He'd move their way. Yeah, in yeah, Hunt to survive. Kill to survive. <laughs> okay. Met his boyfriend in a vegan Facebook group. Wait, can I just do this right? What is he doing in there? If he doesn't care about animals. Just trying to pick up somebody. Doesn't make sense. But you don't make sense. Stop it. Avocado, avocado didn't have much to ah, Columbia, eat the chicken. So he began to upload videos of himself to the YouTube website, playing violin and discussing the many aspects. Uh, wait, there's so much to say. If you have nothing to do in your life, go and help somebody. Don't just start making videos, filming yourself all the time. Make videos to help. Isn't that what you're doing right now? What? Make, uh, making videos all the time uh, about uh, about yourself? others how is it you're trying to help others when you're trying to force people to eat and go vegan that's not helping that's just forcing there's two that's two two different I things i don't know help. so why did he stop being vegan because um, you find out that because uh, meat is much tastier than just straight vegetables and plus you can't you physically actually you cannot go so long without meat you're not vegan for four uh, you years. will actually hurt yourself yeah, actually, are there is something there is a research um done on um vegans. I'm not discriminating against vegans in general, but the fact uh, the fact is that ve uh, the vegans are actually a little bit more at risk because they don't uh, consume enough uh, enough protein. They, uh, at risk as um I be I think it was cancer. They said because they don't they don't consume meat. Obeso, he's saying he used to be obese. You see his arms? They went way the heck out to here. Yeah. So weird. Do you think it's even true? Like this. While it was certainly a benefit that veganism helps Nikocado lose weight and was assisting um, him in staying thin, as he continued no, no. to maintain um, a vegan diet, it would go from a blessing to a curse. I rotted a tooth. I had low B12, B12 deficiency. Mm -hmm. I developed hypoglycemia. I don't know if it's directly related to the veganism, but I never had that before. Uh, what? You're blaming your health problems on veganism? No. X. 
He's doing the X skill! Yo! He claims that he's a vegan, but he eats meat constantly. I think he... I think he was just trying to say that he uh, he used to be uh, be ve uh, vegan, but like I said, people uh, if he d did uh, if he used to be vegan at some point and just decided you know, to give up veganism, I mean it, it happens. Like people change. I'm not gonna deny it. Your health problems are because you didn't take care of yourself. What did you say? You had a rotting tooth. What did you say? Let's go back. No flick says why why is she wearing a tie? Okay, were you Um she's trying to she, she's trying to advertise, uh, advertise veganism. Yeah, like it actually really matters. People just have problems with teeth no matter whether they're vegan or not vegan has nothing I think it's funny how she What's the other thing? I think it's funny how she thinks vegan uh, she treats veganism as a religion. As a nurse for 25 years, and people who were if you really think about it, still had B12 deficiency. It does seem like so that. that has nothing to do with veganism. That has to do with you not taking your B12. Veganism. Pill. It's not that big a deal. You take one pill every week, or you can spread it out. As like, it's not, I'm giving you an X for these. Bullshit I mean, basically, yeah. Bullshit if it's like those oversensitive, oh, you gotta be vegan, oh, you gotta be vegan, like her, then I don't yeah. Know if it's directly you developed hypoglycemia. Do you realize that some people, in fact, the vast majority of people, develop hypoglycemia who are actually not vegan? Go and check right now. If oh, jeez. A hundred or a thousand of us are vegan. Then all the people with hypoglycemia he has never, cannot uh, blame it on veganism. He has you say never. Make any sense? Uh, I'm X. vegan. He just all. Okay. Into the veganism, yeah. But I never had that before. At a later date, Nick Ikado explained that being vegan have resulted in numerous immediate health issues. In addition to this, Nick Ikado explained that he found. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not. I think community to be I'm not the kind of person that follows people's uh, people's the livelihood, so I wouldn't know. Was toxic. You mean the vegans who actually care about the animals and who talk about others and not just themselves, who don't just make videos about themselves? Just because people talk and uh, care about animals. But toxic. First of. <laughs> that ad said that all the uh, I don't know if she's trying to. First of all, I will say that not all vegans are are toxic, but just, just good. The vegan teachers type of veganism is toxic. By uh, it's by any means, it's the uh, it's most toxic. Uh, and literally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What? Cover and uh, tell me how sad it is what do you say? What? Hold on. No, I understand that she no. is trying to support vegan wise. X! Why do vegans have to make everything about veganism? Because well, even women wear ties, so, I mean, when you know there's like multiple women that actually sit there and actually wear ties, so. It, it actually consumes some people. They well, she just advertised veganism. For example, I have yeah, but a there are a place females that, that wear ties too. So and tortures them first. They do. I, I don't know. It's just like a. I think it's just like a almost like a fashion I just, like, thing. Put it out in my I, mind. I, don't. I constantly try do do anything I can to save animals, and that's what vegans do. Veganism isn't just a a social club to meet boys in. God. Why? He wasn't so saying that you. It was. And as a result, or that it is. More to life. What did you end up doing with your life, Nick? X, there's so much more to life than being vegan. Then why are you trying to make everybody go vegan? And being lonely and having a ton of money, but what? Being vegan That's isn't all cracked up. It's not a life. It's not a life to be cruel to others. Oh, that was you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that like, was... You're just so large, you're actually eating. Uh, well, let's get to that. <laughs> you had me confused right now, for a minute there. <laughs> He ended up renouncing his vegan status and leaving the community of vegan I love YouTube. mukbang, by the way. I'm leaving. I'm no longer a vegan YouTube. See, okay. see mine is special. YouTube community. What is a community exactly? Oh, you don't know what a mute community is? No other community have I ever seen it like this. I thought it was they're all vegans, but it's just vegans in general on YouTube. I gotta leave, you guys. After a one month oh, break, oh no, you couldn't stand that people were actually talking about other things besides themselves. That's all you wanted, just to put the camera on yourself. What could be more important than saving innocent animals from slaughterhouses? Saving humanity from the likes of you.
from the Holocaust that they're living through right now. Holocaust. And that's why vegans are talking about it all the time because they actually yeah. care. They have empathy. They can imagine themselves in that position. I don't know. While he had made the decision to begin eating meat, he would still maintain a relatively- Why would he start eating meat? That's the part I don't get. Maybe you don't like all the vegans in the supposed community, but what does that have to do with the animals? Why punish the animals? Awful. 10 X's for that. You do We've been hunting food- We've been hunting since the dawn the of- completely innocent. Dawn of time! So we've been hunting for meat for, uh, since the very- uh, Since the very beginning that men, a man was on this earth. Men and women were on this earth. We're literally meant to hunt and eat meat. Like, uh, there's even scientific facts proven that we were actually meant to eat meat. Clean diet, Ooh. often inclusive That's of vegetables even, and rice. Yeah. One red onion, carrots, minus that green one, which we don't use. Broccoli, cauliflower, fresh peas. Nikocado avocado. What is all this with the vegetable part? I don't get it. Were you just completely lost? You just like, oh, okay. Um, I'll just put some veggies in here. To to what? To what? To try to hang on to your so-called vegan audience? They're not gonna hang on to you. You betrayed the animals. What you're going to get now is only non-vegans who are like, oh, yeah. Wait, we betrayed the animals? Someone stop being vegan, so yay. They're just they being straight, straight up toxic at this point. Raping them, torturing them, stealing their babies. Wait, it's despicable wait, what doing. wait, wait, why, how are we raping? She, th if you milk a cow, she thinks if you milk a cow, you're raping, uh, you're raping them. <laughs> if you eat meat, you're a murderer. She, she says stuck out like a sore thumb as a mukbanger because it I mean cats still get uh, still get fed even after the milking process in the beginning, yeah. the video type was almost entirely dominated by females. Additionally, Nikocado would almost oh, always have his yeah. pet parrot sit on his shoulder while he ate, the absurdity of which assisting him in standing out from the crowd. He had a pet parrot on his shoulder while he... while he what? what while he was eating other animals? Like chickens? I don't get it. What happened to the parrot? Parrots shouldn't be pets uh. anyway. They should be in the wild. Don't take animals out of the wild and bring them into your home. When discussing his first mukbang video, Nikocado Avocado would state, My very first mukbang got like 50,000 views in a couple of weeks, which was a lot for me at the time. And everyone was asking, when's the next mukbang? Which ultimately resulted in the continuation of the series. You know, this is the problem with you carnists. People who just want vegans to be quiet and you just love to see people just eat animals over and over again because you're all a bunch of sadistic people. Wow. Shame on you. Mukbang. Shame on you! Wait, 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 Shame wait. on you for, <laughs> for forcing people to go vegan. Begin to steadily increase. In The Psychology of Mukbang Watching published in January 2020, the study found that the viewer's vicarious pleasure demanded a large quantity of unhealthy food to be consumed. And from a relatively uninformed outsider's perspective, the meta seems to be the bigger the better. No one wants to spend two minutes watching someone eat a bowl of cereal. The most popular True. videos go for more than half an hour and include ridiculously oversized portions, the reason for which being because it creates connection and possibly even a guilt-free environment. How, what is wrong with- Wait, what? Female viewers are particularly drawn to mukbang because they feel connected to other females who are eating very large portions of unhealthy food. Huh. That's interesting. What is wrong with you sick individuals that you want to watch somebody eat all this junk food? You Wasn't this woman under a lot of backlash before? Oh, major, major backlash. You wouldn't watch somebody eat a carrot? So, it's, it's, the, show, it, the show is still continuing with this vegan teacher because she's still attacking other YouTubers. Perfectly. He's got an amazing vibrato. That's what he should do. Oh, yeah. Uh, she actually complimented him. My gosh. You fail ethics class. You fail at being a decent human. You are a piece of shit. That's what you are. Let's. <laughs> I want to be on that list. Yo, I got to have a feast with my boy Jazz, and this woman is supposed to ha uh, supposed to be a advocate for a vegan, but talks about blending chickens. <laughs> Bro, dude. Let's change the laws and have these kinds of people. <laughs> Subscribe here instead. Nope, subscribe to King Cyberwolf for putting down this beautiful content.
I hope you enjoyed this uh, live stream. If so, please make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button for uh, for more beautiful, beautiful content. Um, it's been a while since I streamed. I just got ah uh, oh, man, it's been a while. Vegan teacher, you're just making good content for uh, uh, for us other YouTubers. Like you gotta stop. Let's be, let's be honest. You gotta stop trying to force people to go vegan. Like, I understand you care a whole lot about the animals. This is very understandable. And maybe you can help maybe reduce the pop. Uh, maybe you can help increase the population. That way we don't have to worry about um, maybe the lack of food. I, and maybe that could be possible. But it's called breed animals. You breed animals. If you feel as though you want to do that. But as far as saving animals, that's pretty hard to do considering the fact there's billions of people that you're going to have a hard time stopping that really love to have meat. But um, comment down below what you really think about this um, video um, and what do you guys say about the vegan teacher, you know? Um, and def please check out my, um, <laughs> please check out my uh, TikTok. I try to do daily vo uh, vlogs nearly like every day, but um, I should be posting whatever I post on TikTok to YouTube. But some of the YouTube, uh, some TikTok videos have like copyrighted music. And they're gonna, like, you know, I, I would rather that you YouTube, you know, yell at me. But I'll see you guys later. Peace. Love you all. Bye. 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 -bye.